At kasama natin ngayon dito sa studio ang ating kababayang three-time world champion at bagong unified WBA and WBO flyweight champion, Brian the Hawaiian Punch Viloria. Magandang umaga. Good morning, Brian, and congratulations. Good morning, Holly. Yeah. Thank you so much. So this is the new belt or this is the old belt? This is the old belt. The, uh, the new belt is coming in um, soon. It takes a couple weeks. Okay. Well, for the fans and the viewers, they saw that this was a tough fight. You know, went ten, ten rounds. Ten rounds uh, you yes, you were staggered a little bit in the, in the fifth round, but you don't look like you suffered any damage. I, mean, uh, <laughs> I was I was bruised up. Um, you were bruised up after the fight, a couple of days, but then I healed well. It's been so, more than a week. Yeah, it's right? been more than a week, so I healed I healed fairly, fairly well, and mm -hmm. I feel good. I, I feel great right now. Of course, like everyone else, you're getting you're getting older. Uh, yes. And uh, does it does it take longer for an older boxer to to recover from a fight like that? Uh, you know, if you if you treat yourself right, um, eat the right food, and and go to sleep, you know, often, and and rest up a lot more, then you know, you should be able to recover a lot quicker. Um, it's, I, you know, it's, it's different for everyone. Everyone. But are you feeling that it's taking longer to recover now? A little than bit. You were, a little you bit younger. longer. You know, the, as a young guy, you know, you you, you tend to uh, do a lot more, and you. You can recover faster. So um, now that I'm going up in Asia, I, I still I kind of feel like it takes a little longer for me to heal up well. Okay, this fight uh, this was on November 18th Seven, yeah. in the Philippines, yeah, yeah, 17th Philippines. in uh, Los Angeles, California. There was a lot at stake. Two titles. Yes. Two. Uh, so two champions were were fighting. Yes, sir. Um, um, I had a WBO. Marquez had a WBA, and we both put up our titles at, on the line. And um, went at it. <laughs> it was a good show. It was a great show, a great card. Um, you know, Tyson Marquez came to fight. I came to fight. We trained really hard for that fight, and and uh, we just tried to put the best foot forward. And we both did, and we gave the fight fans a lot to see. All right, he staggered you in the fifth round with a Sorry. hard right. Uh, what do you th what are you thinking about when something like that happens? Do you do you, uh, you start try... do you start worrying or start? Is there like any fear there's, that, that you might lose your title? No, you know all those fears you have to set aside. Um, it really doesn't help you in that type of situation. You just have to continue doing what you're doing, what you're trying to do. And um, in that type of situation, I just had to compose myself and and uh, and get myself together again. And um, just see what the situation was. So that's when was. your training kicks in. Yeah, that's when your training. That's when your yeah. muscle um, memory comes in, and uh, you train for those type of situation. And and um, I just had to assess the uh, situation, and I felt Marquez was was. So how did that me. happen? Um, you kind of uh, let down your guard a little bit. No, or? it was uh, Marquez caught me with a great right. Um, you know, he caught me with a good punch, and uh, it, it buzzed me a little bit. Um, I. Gained my composure in in, in the and few started seconds. Defending yourself and I and started defending myself. I kept my hands up high, so there was no further damage that was happening in that fight. And so, I stepped back, and uh, it looked it, it looked a lot worse than it was. I knew what was happening. I knew I was coherent on what was going okay. on, and um, I just let Tyson, I guess, tire himself out, and he did um, in the middle of that round. And and I, I just unleashed a couple combinations that floored him in that. And you not, you bounced back very yes, quickly I, I, I and you knocked him, yeah. knocked him down in the, in the same, same in round. In the same round, yes. So, I mean, that was a great fight. Marquez came to fight and, and very heavy-handed and he was a great champion. Um, but and uh, later on in the fight, though, he, he started getting a, a little more aggressive. Uh, yeah. for, for viewers, uh, I think uh, many people thought that he was you know, get, getting a little reckless there and I think it created some openings for you it as did. well. It um, did. It was part of our game plan to go up early in the scorecards um, early in that fight and to get him um, a little bit more you know uh, careless and mm -hmm. and and I felt like he got more frustrated toward, towards the ending of that fight and he did um, that frustration led him to being a little bit of a too bold and too careless and I think that that's when the left hook snuck in there and, and made him hit the canvas. All right, well, before you were, before you started going for the head, I mean, you were working on the body. Was that was part of a strategy? That was, a lot of the, that was part of the strategy, too, to, to slow his attack down and slow his um, momentum down early and to keep him honest and keep him at bay so he doesn't come in um, bold enough and say, hey, I'm going to dictate the fight. So I, I had to go down to the body to, to dictate the fight. All right, so for non-hardcore boxing fans, what benefit does it, give you to go for the body rather than you know go for the go for the head and you try know, to knock somebody out um it's the body punches are, are type of punches that will show it um will show later out in the rounds and it will slow a fighter down regardless of you know if they can take it to the chin or not 
it slows them down, slows their attack down. Is it and kind of helps knock the wind out of them? Or yeah. What's yeah, the effect it, on the boxer? Um, you know, your, your, your organs in your body starts to shut down and, and you know, help, help you, slow, not, you know, try to recover from that is really hard to do. Um, I would rather get hit in the head than the body shots. I mean, um, getting hit to the body will, will, you know, it will, it will stay with you and it will last for a long time. And, and you know, opposed to um, getting hit in the head where it will stun you for a few seconds, but getting hit to the body and, and investing a lot, of, a lot of that in the body shots was, I think, was, was a, a key factor in me winning this fight. All right. Uh, well, what's what's next for Brian Viloria? Uh, Just you have, resting you, right now. You unified the two titles. Um, you that's know, a pretty big achievement. Very big achievement. It hasn't been done for the last 50 years, and for me, it's an honor for me to do so and and to bring back the title and and to uh, unify it. Um, you know, the holidays are around the corner, so I'm gonna enjoy my time a little bit longer. And uh, we've been in training camp for three and a half, almost four months. I haven't really gotten enough rest, so right now I'm just going to sit down and rest, and as soon as I get back to training camp, I'll talk to my, my handlers and, and my management to see what the right road is for me to take. So. Not considering uh, uh, going up in weight class, uh, changing We're your weight class? considering that. Mm -hmm. you know, um, I think I have a power at this weight division. I can take up to 115, um, but we'll see. I'm comfortable right now at 112. I make the weight fairly easy. As you can see, the, the weigh-ins for this last fight, I was at 111. Um, 111 and a half and I had to eat a little bit of something before even the weigh-in took place because I was going too under and so you now I'm comfortable with this weight division. All right Brian I need to ask this question in, in any know. other era uh, you'd probably be considered the, you know the top Filipino boxer in the world but you happen you. to be sharing the same era of uh, a, a certain Manny Pacquiao. Do you ever feel that you've been boxing in his shadow? You're around the same age. No, uh, no not at all. I mean everything that Manny has done is he's achieved it He's earned it. I mean, we, we, we do, and he inspires the rest of us um, to do well. And that's why you see this resurgence of Filipino fighters coming out from the Philippines and um, taking over the boxing world by storm. Um, you know, there's Nonito, there's Marcito Guesta that's also coming up, um, fighting the next month. And so we're, I, you know, I'm glad I started the sweep off on the right foot, uh, winning my fight against the Mexican. Everyone else is going to have their own fight against the other, the Mexican fighters. So. We're, we're, we're out there, and we're, we're taking the world by storm, and I, I think we're trying to take away that crown from the Mexican fight, uh, fighters and, and try to keep it here in the, in the Philippines. So. Well, you've done your part. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Unified WBA and WBO flyweight champion, Brian the Hawaiian Punch, Viloria. Congrats.